welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a hair video. As you can see I've recently gone back to a lighter shade. I was brown a couple of days ago. I'm going to be talking about having a platinum silver hair. I was going to talk about how I lightened my hair but in some respect I don't see there's see there being any point because everybody's different. Everybody has hair in different conditions. I'm just going to talk about the products in general that I use and hopefully this will help somebody. So if anybody's interested, the bleach that I use and is my favourite bleach is the Bleach by Bleach London. I will link it below. So that's the bleach that I use. Right, so we're going to be talking about once your hair is pre-lightened. So the first thing I want to talk about is toner. This is a must if you're going to be platinum. This is what makes your hair white because bleach alone doesn't always work. Some people are lucky enough to put a bleach on and the hair's white but a lot of people aren't. So the toner that I use is this one. It's a big bottle, I got it for Christmas. You basically, a couple of pumps in your hand, you put it on in the shower, leave on for five minutes, wash it off and you should just be left with either a nice silver or a, like a purplish toned blonde like I have. I would honestly recommend buying this bottle. It's £18 off Amazon, I think, and I still have some left, so it, it's worth the money. I'd say I've been using it for the past three years. I've tried many toners, I've tried cheap ones, I've tried expensive ones, and this is the only one that I've ever really got along with. The only thing I'd say about it is that it's a really strong toner, which is good, but if you leave it on too long, you are left with this purple tinge. Now, that's great if you want that, but if you don't, then some people actually add conditioner to it to water it down a bit and then you'll be left with the more the more whitey silver. But honestly, best toner in the world. And then the other thing that I really like to use is this. Now, I actually watched a YouTube video of a girl using it and it's True Steel Fanciful Rinse Temporary Colour. All it is, is it's like a greenish liquid. So once you've shampooed your hair, towel dry it and then you... From the root tip you like squirt this on your roots and then bring it down so it's, it helps to have like a comb at hand so you squirt on your roots and then comb it out and comb it down to the ends and then all I do is put my hair in a hair wrap and I leave it for about half an hour and then I dry and the best thing about this I'd say is that you don't have to get back in the shower to wash it out. I believe you can get this in a mousse as well. I've not tried it. I'd like to try it. But yeah, I really, I really recommend this. Now, I've done them two first because they are really good toners. But if you have really stubborn yellow in your hair, what I like to do is introduce semi-permanent colours into my hair routine as well. You're probably all thinking, what is she on about? But what I like to do if I do have really stubborn yellow in my hair, I either dye my whole head or just like patches. I either use this, which is Bellini by Bleach London. It's a really nice pastel blue. Yes, you will have blue in your hair, but it's really light and it usually washes out within like two washes. But it leaves behind a really natural looking blonde and it, it takes the yellow out of it, honestly. And another thing that I do use is this which is Colour Freedom Mystic Purple. Now you literally need a pea size of this and then you mix it with conditioner. This is great value for money because I am only using a pea size so I've still got like so much left. So you put a pea size of that in and you mix it with conditioner, put it all over your hair, like a dye really. You leave it for a few minutes and then you wash your hair off and you probably will be left with a purple rinse look but as you wash your hair it'll wash out and you will be left with white or platinum hair or even a silver now that's what I've done at the minute so as you can see I guess my hair does look quite purple on camera but in real life it's actually not that purple and I don't really have any yellow left because this has worked for me like it's probably better underneath can you see and I use that and then after that I just tone my hair and then the toner just takes care of the rest. I hope this all makes sense because I feel like I'm talking really fast about loads of different things. So that's toners and that's semi-permanent colours that help create the platinum look. And like I said, these all just take time. It's something you can't just decide one day, I just want, I want to be platinum and then go buy some bleach and that'll be that. It doesn't work like that. It takes time and it's all to do with you. It's all to do with your personal, personal preference. If you don't mind having yellow in your hair, just carry on toning it, that's fine. That It'll eventually fade. 
but if you're impatient like I am then maybe introducing the semi-permanent colours into your hair it might actually be a good idea if you don't even mind having purple hair or like a, a full-on lilac hair go for it and then it'll wash out and it will be silvery platinum now another question i get asked is why i actually have hair left because people assume that because i was platinum for so many years i'm, I'm not talking about now i'm going to talk about before i had the brown ombre because i only had like the brown ombre for about two three weeks before this and before that i had platinum blonde hair and people used to always say to me like oh i can't believe you actually have hair but they were under the impression that i bleached my hair every month like a normal person would dye their hair I didn't do that I let my roots grow I didn't mind having blonde hair and roots I quite like that look so I only actually bleach my hair once every six months and when I did bleach my hair I didn't let the bleach come in contact with anything that was already of a platinum colour and that way all the hair that was getting bleached was fresh hair it was new hair so that's one way I kept my hair in a good condition next I use Bleach London's Reincarnation Mask. I sound like I'm promoting Bleach London, but I'm not. I just really like the products. This is a deep conditioning conditioner. So you put it all over your hair once you've washed it and you can leave it in. It says leave it in for 20 minutes, but sometimes I leave it in overnight and I wash it off in the morning. This just helps add moisture to your hair and it just brings it back to a, I'm gonna say a livable condition because if your hair is bleach damaged, sometimes it's just impossible to do anything with it. I've damaged my hair before when I was younger and, I, and the things I used to do to it. It's like another thing as well, I don't use heat on my hair. This is, I just washed my hair last night and this morning it was still damp. I put it in a bobble for a bit, walked around the house and I've just took the bobble out and my hair's like a kind of wave. Like I don't use straighteners and I don't use heat unless I'm off out. That is the only time I use anything like that. And if I do, even with the hairdryer, I use heat protection. I use this heat protector if anybody's interested. It's Feel the Heat by Phil German. And another thing I use as well is Ice Tropical Cocktail Miracle Ends. Basically, after you've like straight and dried your hair, you put some of this on your ends and it just helps them from splitting and it just nourishes the hair a lot. I really like Fudge. You probably notice that fudge is one of my favorite hair brands i just I think it's really good quality and it smells beautiful as well honestly i don't work for fudge if that's what you think <laughs> so that's it guys uh, that's everything that i use on my hair that's how i keep it the color that it is so if you have any questions you can either private message me on my facebook page or you can private message me on instagram you can comment on this video you can comment on my instagram anywhere if you have me on any type of media contact me on it and i will help you with anything anything that you need my girls have woke up so thank you very much for watching um and i'll see you soon